Hi, Dr. Jill Christie here, talking more about binders. I often get the question, well, which binder should I take for a certain mycotoxin? And I wish that we had a solid answer with that, but all the research, not all, most of the research that's been done on that has been done in a test tube and not in a body. If you don't have good bioflow and your liver is sluggish, which is what happens with most of my mold patients, you can't really make enough bile to bind up those mycotoxins anyway. So my focus is really on getting the person going to the bathroom two times a day, that's bowel movement, getting the bile flowing with cholagogs, and only then add a fiber, and I get most success with insoluble fibers and a mix of those. So, so often you can also mix those with clay. So something that's a mixed fiber, and the right fiber for you is the one that won't constipate you and make the problem worse. Uh, other than that, if you go insoluble heavy or focus, then you're gonna be just fine. So which binder? I wish we had the research to tell you for sure, but until then, we gotta just use what seems to work in practice. Thanks.